Okay, so I just want to talk about the new content for Enscape. Uh, Enscape's a great rendering platform, really happy to use it, really happy with the development they're using. So they've added this new asset library and it's got all these cars in it, which is fantastic. However, if we load any of these cars, what we actually get are these polymesh families. And they're also an individual family for every one. So you can see these are the Enscape asset definition. For every car, it's a separate family. So what I've done is I've created a single family, this simple vehicle family, that's able to have the subtypes for all of those Enscape definitions. Um, so all it is, is is just a parametric you know, bit of gear. It's very lightweight. It's only 400 kilobytes. If you have a look at it from the side, I'm able to sort of match the um, plan and section visibility of all those cars quite easily. There's the um, poly mesh in the background, and there's the family I've created. You can see it's a you know, pretty good approximation, uh, and it's the same in plan. Um, it looks you know, pretty close to the mark. If I copy one of those on, on top, you can see it uh, matches the shape of the car and size quite effectively. Uh, why this is important is it means that we can have as many of these cars as we want in our Revit project. They're going to look okay in um, in sections and in plans and elevations. Uh, you can turn them off if you don't want them. Uh, but in Enscape they're going to be proxied out for the same definitions. So you can still have the um, the good looking one, he's the Revit one on the right, uh, which is this car here, and the Polymesh one on the left, you'll see they're both using the same uh, proxy definition within Enscape. So you can have all of that. Uh, I've made the full set of cars, even the vans and the utes are able to be made with uh, the same family, convertibles, etc. Also, you you definitely don't want to have these poly mesh geometry in your Revit file from a file stability point of view. They can cause corruption. Uh, and they're also having, I mean, there's 21 cars here at the moment. Um, they're about uh, half a meg to a meg, so you're talking 20 something meg of uh, file size just for cars. Uh, if you use this new family, it's only going to be 400 kilobytes, uh, much more efficient. And of course, it uh, still looks the same. So to use them, um, don't use the asset library and load the cars from there. So you're going to get those poly meshes. Uh, you need to go load family using the load family command. Simple vehicle Enscape. Um, you'll get a type catalog. Uh, and yeah, you can just pick which cars you actually want. Um, they'll load in and because it has this Enscape asset ID and the Enscape native asset height parameters uh, copied over from the um, assets that were provided by Enscape, it'll still work perfectly fine in Revit.